Hi, I'm Carol Hart and I write picture books and young fiction and I do a lot of work in schools and libraries uh, getting kids fired up about reading and writing. Um, reading at home with your children is one of the best things you can do for them. Um, not only does it help them do better in school, in all their subjects, not just literacy, um, children who read for pleasure get better jobs, but it's also a really lovely thing to do uh, to spend time with your child. Being cuddled up with a book and reading together is just a really special time and your kids will, it's something your kids will always remember. So um, it doesn't matter what kind of book it is, it could be a picture book or chapter books, um, comics, graphic novels, so novels with pictures and illustrations in, any kind of book. There's even books with no words or books with no pictures. Um, there's all sorts of fantastic stories and fact books out there now that you can get your hands on. So uh, reading together can also help bring up a lot of discussions about emotions or other people's lives and help children really learn about the world around them and the people who live in it, as well as about their own emotions and their own feelings. So, um, and there's an absolute plethora of amazing books out there now. Um, one of the most common questions parents ask is, how do I know what to read? Um, Public libraries are actually a brilliant place to start if you if you aren't sure because you can just rock up at your local library, find the children's section, they will have them and just pick something off the shelf and have a go. If you don't like it, you can just put it back and pick something else and go with your children or your child and they'll soon work out which books they like and which ones they don't. Uh, so just allow them to kind of explore themselves and if you really start uh, there's always a librarian or two they're always so friendly and they will help offer suggestions of what your children might read this is particularly useful for older children who might like a particular author and just not know where to which other authors they would also like so librarians are brilliant for that um and you can read the books there you can take them home have them in the house for a few weeks and then take them back and swap them. And, you know, if you, if there's a book you don't like, you've not spent any money. It's all free, obviously. So, you know, you can take a risk. And if, if, if you don't like it, just take it back and choose something else. Um, the other things I uh, wanted to just say quickly was that some people aren't comfortable reading out loud. It may be that the last time you ever read out loud was when you were at school and that awkward kind of situation of sitting with a teacher and you know trying to read your Dick and Jane books or um, something out loud it could, can be quite excruciating when you're young but um, you know don't let that experience spoil what you can do now if you're not a competent reader let your child read to you or just talk about the pictures in a book if it's a picture book. You don't actually have to read the writing that's in there. You know, as confidence grows, then you may choose to do that. But it actually really doesn't matter. And your child, if you're reading with your child, they're not going to care whether you are whether you sound like an audio book or an actor. They just like being with you. So however you choose to read, you don't have to do voices, but you can if you like. You know, however you choose to read, that's absolutely fine it's more about spending time together holding a physical book in your hand and you know just spending time with your child um, and you'll find that things get easier as well the more you do it I used to hate doing voices I used to think I was so rubbish and can't do accents or anything but I read out, out, out loud so much now that I've just got used to it and my confidence has grown in kind of doing silly voices and stuff but you don't don't feel that you have to so yeah, I just guess the main thing is to just pick some books, read, have a go at reading them and just really have some fun and you'll never look back. Reading together is a wonderful thing to do and um, yeah, so go out there and enjoy it. Okay, it's been nice to talk to you. Bye.